Ivana Trump was photographed leaving her New York City townhouse on Thursday afternoon and making her way down to Washington, D.C., where on Friday she will watch as her first husband Donald is sworn in as the 45th President of the United States. She will be joining her three children with Donald, Donald Jr., Ivanka, and Eric, as well as her eight grandchildren for the big day in the nation's capital. And also scheduled to attend will be Donald's second wife Marla Maples, who was accused at the time of breaking up Ivana's marriage to the billionaire businessman. When asked as she was leaving her home on Thursday if she thought her ex-husband would make a good president, Ivana said, yes, he will. Ivana was one of the first people to say that she believed Donald could become the next president of the United States. She revealed in an interview back in May that she would be casting her vote for her ex come November. I think he's going to win, Ivana said at the time. When then asked if he was getting her vote, she replied, yes, of course I'm going to vote for him. He's going to run the country as a business. He's going to negotiate. And he knows how to make decisions. Ivana also revealed in an interview with the New York Post around that time that she had long been expecting her ex-husband to run for president, and that even Ronald Reagan encouraged him to do so three decades ago. Probably five years before our divorce, Reagan or somebody brought him a letter and said, you should run for president, said Ivana. So he was thinking about it. But then. There was the divorce, there was the scandal, and American women loved me and hated him. She later added, but he was always tooling around with the idea. In that same interview Ivana said she speaks to the Donald before most of his appearances and gave him the phrase, you think it, I say it. Ivana was a 28-year-old model from Czechoslovakia in 1977 when she married Donald. The couple went on to have three children before divorcing in 1992.